Hi everyone and welcome back. We're still at the Hilton Hotel. <laughs> Birthday week. I'm going to show you today how to keep your eyeshadow within the eye area. It's one of my favorite topics. I see so many people wearing it way down here and it's not flattering and it's not doing them any favor. It's just making them look older. So let's get started. I've got foundation, powder, blush, I've done my eyebrows, I've put highlighter under the brow and down into the corner of the eye and just underneath my eye. And I was in the process of putting a light shade, this one here, all over, rolling the brush into it, placing it onto the lid and then just giving it a little bit of swirl, adding it in. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, to prove my point, I'm going to add some length to the brow, because I said that don't do that. I'll do it to this side, so you can see better. So, I'm just, I'm just using the wax and take it down here. So where we're supposed to finish up here, I'm finishing down here. And you can see already, looking at me, it, your, it, this line drags your eye to my eye down. So you're immediately seeing this image with the eye down. This is everything that color will do for you. It can either enhance or detract. So now I'm looking for a crease shade. Oh no, by the way, I forgot to take all that out past the eye area. Sorry, I'm getting carried away here. Gotta go right out here. Match my eyebrow. Now the crease color, um, I might do a gray. I'm going to put it on with the, I'm getting myself in a mess here. Where's it done? Okay. Pat the grey into the crease. But this crease goes right out here apparently. I think a lot of people make the mistake of using the incorrect tools and perhaps their finger and that's how it can get way beyond where it should go. I'm just keeping this one within that eye area as I just discussed. So it's just in the crease. Oh, a little bit around the corner here. Um, this corner seems to be quite big. Okay, give that a bit of a fluff. Okay, now I'm going to look for some definition with the pencil brush. I'll do a darker charcoal. I'm going to put it along the edge. And this is going to get some fallout, I can tell you right now. Right, just get a tissue. underneath now this side I'm going to keep it exactly in the eye area see what the tissue is tucked up tight on that angle that's a good angle to be at just in the crease And a little bit under. <laughs> okay, a little bit of fluff brush. Now this is a magic tool and if you don't have a fluff brush this is probably where you're going wrong. You need to blend your shadows. I know was it 80s and 90s we love to have all those rainbow colors and 
we had them in distinct lines and you could see exactly where they were. That's not the trend. And to have a really good makeup blending, you really want to be blending. So you want one of these. Doesn't have to be my brand, but you do need a fluff brush. And it's just a magical tool. Crikey, we've got it everywhere. Okay, can you see where all of this extra shadow out here, and to all intents and purposes, when my eyes are closed like this and I'm working in the mirror, if I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, this still looks, with my eye like this and I'm working on it, still looks reasonably like it's all going up until I open my eye and it's actually pointing straight down here. Whereas keeping it within the eye area, which is what I've done here, it doesn't do that. And you can take that magical little pencil brush, which I did in one of the other uh, which I did in one of the other videos and showed you how you move that pigment up here, creating that upward line and tuck it around the corner there. Now for the hooded eye, and by the hooded eye, I mean this extra piece of skin that somehow appeared overnight. Some magical thing happened. Yes, look at mine. I never used to have that. Um, you can take this darker colour slightly out of your crease. You can do it with your mid-tone or this, or both. And by taking it slightly out, and leave your eye open to do it, so you can see in the mirror that you're coming out of your crease, and create this new shadow, which I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? And we're using that darker shade to make the eye look bigger. So I haven't done that on this side. Can you see how this new shadow that I've just created, this new line, now makes my eye look wider? Because actually, by using that darker colour, I've, I've blocked out that bit of skin. It doesn't exist. Now remember, up the sides, we're going to clean up the sides with the foundation brush. Keep it really clean. Now can you see the difference between those two? Um, no, I haven't used a blue liner. Let's, let's, let's use the blue liner today just for something, just for Sydney. Blue liner. You need these. These are fantastic. I think they're called sauce bottles or something from Coles. I got it. They're five dollars for three, so you can give one to your daughter, one to a friend, or two to friends, or two to your kids. Fantastic. Just a couple of drops of water in your dish. I love the thing. I damp down my Foundation brush, sprinkle a couple of bits. Fantastic. Oh, wrong side of the mirror. Stretch the skin a little bit if you need to. I'm not going to do the tick on the end. So tempting. Oh. I always do the tick on the end, little tick, because it gives you that upward lift. This, we're not going to do it. Oh dear, I'll do it on this side. Little tick.
So there you go. Can you see how wonky my eyes look? <laughs> so this one's pointing down. This one's round and open. And using that definition here is definitely a little trick to, to remember. Another thing I would like to point out to you is if you're using uh, pencil liners and you have smallish eyes don't put it in your waterline inside your eye that's going to close your eyes even more and make them look even smaller keep it to the lidded area and underneath the eye and if your eyes are really small then perhaps don't put it down there at all now I'm going to show you how to clean this up and correct it so our foundation brush taking all that away keeping all those pigments up removing that extra long eyebrow already you can see the improvement I'm just going to add that little shadow remember just do it with your eye open and uh, just do it lightly basically creating a new eye shape. Getting rid of that extra skin, that extra lid. Might just put a little bit more underneath. Makeup's not something to be afraid of, you know it washes off, so if you make a mistake, it's no big deal. Just don't be afraid to give it a go. Just going to add a little bit more, I'm not completely thrilled with the look, but you know, I don't wear an old blue eye, but um, the greys have tended to go, to go a bit blue. Just deepen up the corner. If you just watch each of these changes, you'll see how it changes the look completely. So adding a little flare on the end here. Oops, not with the blue blue though. Oops. So, I think you're getting the idea there. Just keep within that eye area. So when I'm saying the eye area, that's what I meant. This area out here is not the eye area. It will make a difference. I hope you give that a try. If you've been thinking what's wrong with my eye makeup, why am I looking like my eyes are pointing downwards, that could have been one of the reasons. Forgot to add my little tick, so I'll go off and do that. And you have a nice day, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for popping by. Bye.